Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to install our 40 kilowatt hour battery modules into the Nissan Leaf ZE0 battery case. These are the accessories we are going to need. Okay, this is the wires we removed from the original battery pack. Uh, we are going to reuse it. But before we install it back to the new battery pack, uh, we have to modify it first. Uh, we have to remove all the temperature wires and remove all the voltage wires. How do we modify it? Um, for this end, you only need to keep this wire. It will be connected to the BMS and remove the other parts. And for this end, remove the temperature wires and the voltage wires. So now, let's modify it. Okay, we unwrap the tape from the cables. We just unwrap the tape. And now we, we will find all the voltage wires and the temperature sensors and remove them. Okay, let's do it. Like I said, for this end, we only need to keep this wire and remove all those voltage wires. So we have to cut from here. Okay, those are the temperature wires and voltage wires. We cut each wires. Make sure the wires won't connect together. Now we use the insulation tape to wrap them together. And wrap them with protective tubing. And wrap more insulation tape around the connection and the protection tubing. Now for this end, remove these temperature wires. Make sure the wires won't connect together. And wrap some insulation tape now. And now, the last step is to connect these two wires together. We cut the wires and we remove some skin from the wires and put them together. We solder them together. Wrap some insulation tape now. Okay, so this is the cable we are going to need. It will be like this. To make sure the insulation performance is good, we will wrap some insulation tape around the bracket of the service block. Okay, hammer the four raise the areas flat. Install module C. Module B. Module A.
put the three spacers here, here, and here to install module D. Install module D. Fix module C and D. Tighten all the screws. Make sure all screws are properly tightened. It's a good idea to mark them afterward. Fix module A and B. Again, make sure all screws are properly tightened. Install the single harness of module A and B. These two plugs are different, so you don't need to worry about plugging them in the wrong place. Make sure the plugs are fully locked in. Connect the signal holders between module C and D. Please connect it according to the labels. Install the temperature sensor. Total four temperature sensors for ZE0. This is the original car signal holders we just modified. Remove the clip first. Install the holders. And then put the clip back in place. Fix the cables with zip ties. Install the bracket of, of the relay module. Install the relay module. From now on, please do not use the electric wrenches anymore. Only manual wrenches can be used for subsequent installation. Install the half voltage plug. There are two high voltage power cables should be connected to the service plug. So connect them first.
insert the high voltage interlock plug from the original car cycle hollies into the service plug. Install the service plug. Connect all the high voltage power cables according to this order. The torque for the screws on the terminals is 9 plus or minus 0.5 Nm. Put the cover back on. A total of six power cables and bus bus. Please connect them in this order. Put the Rene module cover back on and plug in this plug from the original car signal harness to the Rene module. Fix the cables with zip ties. Make sure all cables won't move inside. Okay, all cables are now connected. Before installing the BMS, please check the voltage of the battery modules first. The two values should be the same. Then measure the insulation value between the service plug to the ground.
install the BMS bracket. Connect the BMS. But please remember, only do this at the very end. Connecting the BMS too earlier may damage the BMS. For all the plugs that comes from our modules, should be connected at the bottom of the BMS. This plug is from the original car signal harness. It should be connected at the side of the BMS and plug the temperature sensor plug. Secure all the cables with zip ties. Fix the BMS. Now we can use the OBD2 cable to check the battery. This cable allows us to check the battery when it's outside of the car. We recommend all leaf owners who purchase battery modules also get a such cable to avoid repeatedly installing and removing the battery from the car. Okay, everything looks good. Installation completed.